Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, sitting down here, I have all of my goodies right in here so we can do trying our Sephora VIB sale goodies. <laughs> yeah, I put them inside my husband's little kit, the perfume sampler so you can try and then redeem for a full size. Yeah, just put it in there. So we have all of our goodies in here. I even have some of these samples in here since we have foundation since I didn't really pick that up yeah so we have quite a few items in here to go ahead and try out I also did try out some of these items last night while I was showering so I already have some little reviews on those so if you guys are interested in seeing some of these goodies the look we come up with if they're worth it then go ahead and keep watching. Alrighty, so let's get started. So I'm going to start off with the items that I used last night in my shower since it was time to wash the hair. It was hair washing day. So today waking up. Oh yeah. It feels so nice and soft. So nice and soft. Yeah. So, firstly, I did have this sample from the Los Kerastase Chronologist Pre Cleanse Charcoal. That's why it was black, because it was black. It's a pre shampoo. Yeah, pre shampooing revitalist. Yeah, scalp and roots. So that's why it was a black color, which it's nice for me since I do have the gray. But honestly, this guy smells like a man's cologne. <laughs> yeah, like a male cologne. So I really like that. Really like that. And then also did try out the Olaplex number no. 8 Bond Intense Moisture Mask. So back here it says start with two pumps for shoulder length hair since mine is a little bit longer than that I, I did three pumps did three pumps and it does say from mid hair to the ends just there and then work through with fingers use sparingly on the roots so pretty much I spread it from there down and then whatever it was left over on my fingers, I worked into the roots. And I left it on there, it says leave on for 10 minutes. Not sure how long I left it on there, but I just continued with the rest of my shower while I left this on. And yeah. <sighs> yeah. It does feel really, really nice and soft today. So. I'll continue to use this and we shall see but so far so good yeah if I only have to use that little bit maybe this one will last me longer than the other guy longer than the number three we'll see and same price and then I also did try the Innisfree pore clearing facial foam with volcanic volcanic clusters since I did like I said only had one more use from the Kylie skin the foaming foaming cleanser yeah I feel like I used too much so less is more <laughs> I used too much and also it did get in my eyes and yeah that hurt <laughs> that hurt so nowhere near the eyes but yeah I pretty much just worked it into the pores and actually my face felt really really nice last night and even still this morning so continue to play with it but it seems pretty good just don't get it in your eyes yeah so we have our bag of goodies in here a lot of goodies in here so for this we are going to go ahead and get started for here i do have the huda beauty toffee brown so we from the brown obsessions yeah, so I'm going to get started with eyes. So I kind of put on a shirt to match. <laughs> it 
So get started with this guy. Right, so we have zoomed in and I have forgotten because we do have a brow product. It's a good thing I didn't do my brows because a lot of times I'll do my brows and then start filming. But we have a brow product to try out. So this is the Kosas Air Brow Fluff and Hold Treatment Gel. Do have the shade gray. <laughs> yeah, I definitely want to see right now on bare brows. See how this translates. Yeah, so we have our little spoolie. brushes them up. I'm just trying to see what kind of tint this leaves behind because I do like them a little bit tinted that way I don't have to fill in so much. Yeah so gray isn't that scary. Not as tinted as what I'm used to, like the Milk Makeup one or the ABH. Okay, we're getting some more tint. Do like how, since it's gray, it's very cool toned. All right, so go ahead to a little bit of penciling. Just using the. Sephora Collection Retractable Brow Pencil in Neutral Gray Brown. Been trying to use it, but I don't think I'm a fan. It is too dry. You have to pull so hard in order to get pigment to come off, so not a fan of this one. I just have to press down so hard. Oh, how I hate this pencil. So I'm gonna go ahead do the other one, clean that up a bit, prep the eyes, then we can move on to eyes. Alrighty, so we have both brows done. We have our eyes primed, and now <laughs> have our little palette. So here primed. I was actually looking for my Pat McGrath Dark Star mascara that came in my little Sephora Favorites perfume sampler set. I can't find it. I definitely want to try that for today's video but I can't find it <laughs> though I did technically get three mascaras so if I can't find it we still have two other options but I really wanted to try that for today's video I have my little perfumes right here I have the coupon right here where is the mascara <laughs> yeah yeah I have to keep searching and searching all right, so let's get started. Go ahead with this one, set the eyes a little bit. Just a nice little neutral shade. Oh boy, I think I still have some of the glitter from yesterday's look. Because this is the only repeat brush I'm using from yesterday. I was trying some TJ Maxx wines. I did the Cara Beauty and this guy. <sighs> yeah, that glitter got everywhere. So I did not like that glitter. Yeah. Yeah, I see some of it right here. God, I hate that glitter. All right, so just a little set. 
very skin tone color. Alrighty. I just jump into another brush. I want to keep getting more glitter. So jump into a different SL Miss Glam brush. Let's start going for yeah. Definitely want to do a look matching my shirt. don't have a lot of yellows in my collection. Right, so I guess a little bit of this one for the crease. Let's see if I do just this one or combine the two. Actually that's not bad. I like those two together. Yellow pack. So just a little bit of kickback. Nothing too crazy. Alrighty. So I was here just continuing to build a little bit on the crease, making sure that yellow doesn't disappear. Yeah. Just using those same two shades. So now just to Built a little bit. I don't want to deepen this too much. I don't want to go too smoky. I want to keep it lighter. So, just a little dip into that one. Yeah, I'm really liking these shades. Yeah, kind of like. Urban Decay Naked Honey, which I don't have that palette, so I did here. This is kind of a dupe for that, just smaller. Kind of that same color story, but I don't have that one. All right, so for the lid, I really, really want to play into this one. So it is more like a topper, so yeah. Yeah. Alright, so apply a little bit of glitter glue and then see if I apply that one. It doesn't need a base. We'll see. Alrighty, so I quickly did the other eye, applied some NYX glitter glue. I really like how quickly I did the other eye. It was pretty quick. Alright, so let's go in with that one. Let's see. It has a topper, so let's just see. did need a base <laughs> it is really really pretty really really pretty so digging my brush in here it's getting the glitter into the mats yeah that builds better with the finger So pretty. Definitely really pretty. I 
really really like that oh and I found it <laughs> I found it so we get to try it today but for this one I will say because I have tried her original the fetish eyes and it is more so for me a secondary mascara the volumizing one so I think I'm gonna try that for this one going in firstly with one that just lifts and lengthens lengthens and then this guy on top of that one yeah because I pretty much know I know how these work and that's how I like them yeah so we'll go ahead clean this up a little bit then we can jump into the mascara all right, so I did add a little bit of some brown liner and then for mascara, I did curl and I added a little bit of the Fenty Beauty Full Frontal. It's a little light layer of that. Now we can go in with Pat McGrath. So this is the Dark Star Mascara in Extreme Black. Oh, it's been a while since I played with Pat McGrath and I miss it. Just have so many others open. Should get my little mirror. I have so many others open that I'm trying to use up. apply some primer do a little bit of primer on the face then I guess do a little bit of Charlotte Tilbury we have Charlotte Tilbury we have some Bobbi Brown <laughs> yeah so we'll see what we end up with here yes yeah, so I'm going with the Hollywood flawless filter went in with light medium and medium do those two. I see hubby just got home. He's parking right now. So I'm pretty much just going to use this as underneath the foundation. Never really used these kind of products before, so we'll see. Oh yeah, there's definitely a glow. <laughs> I see the camera picks up the glow more than a real person. I still have those glitters. Oh my god. Yeah, you can definitely see a glow. Alright, then I guess I'll go in with the Bobbi Brown. Yeah, we'll see if I maybe mix those two. Alright, so I've set my under eyes. Hubby decided not to go to the gym. So he's taking a shower right now, so let's see how this goes. He says he's not gonna bother me. <laughs> he usually likes to come, lay down here, watch some TV. I turn the air off again because he turned it on. Alright, so I just set my under eyes because we do have some cream blushes. So usually I go in with bronzer and then my blush, but since these are creams and the bronzer is a powder I'm gonna go in with these first so since I have two cream blushes I'm gonna see if I do one on each side and each one is a different color so we have from melt cosmetics the cream blush light and I have sandy cheeks which honestly I think for this look this one would be the better match I want to try both because I've never first time trying from these brands so we have this one yeah yeah that would definitely look great 
and then we have from Tower 28 this is the Power Duo lip plus cheek set so it does bring a lip jelly and then the I guess they call it a balm so Power Hour sun-kissed terracotta which I did see this is no longer available on Sephora well last I checked no longer for sale so I did see that with a Pat McGrath lip set that I got and then it came back so yeah I feel like the other one would definitely match better yeah definitely the other one would match better but I still want to try each one I still want to oh because I only <laughs> Because usually the brush that I use for cream products is this one. I only have one. Hmm. So let's try this guy out. Brand new, clean. It is the flat foundation from Farah, but I thought it was a little bit too soft for foundation. I think it would be good to stipple in blush, cream blush. Yeah. So let's go in. I'm going to go in with this one on this side and then Tower 20 on this side. other side look I definitely like this one better than this one but I definitely like both it's just this one is a dark color but she blends out definitely blends out can go in with some bronzer Alrighty, so now moving on to some bronzer from this little kit from Marc Jacobs we do have the Omega bronze coconut perfect tan we do have this in Tantastic so I've powdered my face set and looking over each of the blushes color wise I really like the melt one but I think formula wise I prefer the Tower 28. So we have this little guy. Let's see if our brush fits in here. Yeah, because she's really tiny. So this would be a light bronzer. So let's go in with my Alamar bronzer brush. I think, yeah. Yeah, I can pretty much pick up with that one. So this one is very cool toned. So let's see. And a very light shade. Yeah, 
Yeah, so this is definitely one that I'll have to build because it's really, really light. Plus, she can definitely be built. Since that one is a small size and I have to dig in quite a bit, probably hit pan on this one really soon. I think I definitely still prefer the large one that I have. That shade suits me better. So I was applying that highlight while hubby was back there so secretly filming him. <laughs> I don't think I like this. I don't think I like this. This is a no for me. So I finished off the eyes. I went ahead and I tight lined with this guy. And then a mixture of these two to buff out. And then this one, which was a very, very sheer topper, use that for my brow bone and inner corner. Yeah, and that worked out nicely. Worked out for that. So I was here looking for a lip liner to line my lips. I have the LA Girl Ultimate Intense Stay Auto Liner and Keep It Spicy. And I just ran out. So this one is done. Hopefully I have another backup. I don't know so now for the lips i was looking at this one because i did buy the pretty vulgar my lips are sealed liquid lipstick in 103 but yeah it's pretty much a red and these guys are actually a creamy liquid lipstick so they don't dry down so since i lined with that i think i'm gonna go in with the tower 28 I'm going to go in with the Shine On Lip Jelly in Cashew. Wow, that matches the lip liner. It's a great pairing. Hmm. So I guess here now we do have the completed look. All right, so now let's wrap up. All right, so time to gather my thoughts. This guy I really like. I really did like it. I heard some mixed reviews on these guys. But for me, I really enjoyed it. I really did enjoy it. It was easy to blend. It was quick to come up with this look. Really enjoyed that. 
and I do really like the colors. Yeah, did really like this. So this is a win for me. I do really like this. I do really like that. Think. See for the brow products. I have to keep trying this out. I have to keep trying this out. But I mean, it's not terrible. Not terrible. At least because it's a gray, it stays cool tone. It's a cool tone color for my brows. But yeah, I have to keep trying this out. So we'll see. It's not a win, but it's not a loss either. Just have to keep playing around with it. I have the Pat McGrath. Another one I do have to keep playing around with, but I think I like the fetish eyes better. It's been a while since I played with that one, but I think I like that one better. All right, so for the mini bronzer, for this one, yeah, I do have to build quite a bit because it is a lighter shade. I think this is the lightest of the three shades that they have. So this one is a little bit light for me. This is more suited for lighter skin tones, so just building a little bit. You can still get it to work. But I do like these Marc Jacobs bronzers. Then we have the cream blushes. The cream blushes. Yeah. So I'm surprised I like this one better. I like the Tower 28 better. I don't know. I just really like the way it was on my skin better than this one. I do like this shade better. There's just something about the Tower 28 that I liked better. There's something about this one. Yeah. I do like the lip jelly. Really hydrating and moisturizing. I do like how it has a little bit of a tint so it matches perfectly with the lip liner. So I like that. Yeah. So for the little samples, I don't even know what I did with them. Down here. I don't know, I think I need it a little bit more. Here's someone at the door. A little bit more of this to try out all over the face because those two little samples were not enough. The Charlotte Tilbury. It gave a really nice go, it gave a really nice go, but I definitely don't think that would be would be suited for oily skin. Definitely not, because it's really, really glowy. But yeah. We have some hits and misses. We have some so-so products. Yeah. But, yeah, I think so far favorites. Favorites would be these and the Olaplex. <laughs> these would be the highlights for me, definitely. Out of all the purchases, those three were the best ones out of all definitely so that would be it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed this if you did please go ahead and give it a thumbs up make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next video and i'll see you guys on the next one bye all right so i'm trying to get some natural lighting going on here so i pretty much just reapplied the two cream blushes on each cheek I guess on a set face to see so I reapplied here the melt and wow really really beautiful definitely amped it up some more as well as the other side with tower 28 but with the tower 28 as you can see right here it did lift the foundation you can see a patch right there but with the melt, nothing. So this one works great on a set face. Definitely works better. No lifting whatsoever. And my face was completely set. But yeah, right there. <laughs> yeah, so now I'm on the fence. <laughs> now I'm on the fence. I do still really like the Tower 28. Oh, no. 
now I'm confused. Now I'm confused. Yeah. So maybe this is worth it. Yeah, but it did lift it. 